So I am currently in the process of creating a short film and obviously one of the things that I need to do in order to make this short film a reality is cast actors and actresses and I just wanted to show you guys today one website that I think is perfect for this task. It is one of the best filmmaking websites that I have ever come across because it is so effective at what it does and that is Backstage.com. It's not a secret website by any means, I know a lot of people probably use this website but I just think it is so worth the money and if you don't know about it you should be using it instead of whatever shitty method you're using to cast actors and actresses right now and no this is not a sponsored video I literally have less than 20 subscribers at the moment so no one would ever support me ever so, so anyway I just wanted to show you backstage.com here's the home page once you create an account one way you can find actors or actresses to be in your film is to find talent up here and once we click the find talent button up here, we come to this page and this is a very self-explanatory form. All you're going to do is put in all the information that you need in your actor or actress and backstage will filter by those uh, specific needs. So if we come down here, we can select a gender, we can select an age range, we can select a union status, we can select a location, we can select the distance from that location that backstage is willing to search. You can select available assets. You can, you know, if you need to see a video reel from the actor, you can click video reel. You can put in keywords. You can put more filters right here. You can select by ethnicity. Um, you can select hair color. You can select eye color even. I don't know why you'd be that freaking picky when casting someone, but you can do that if you want. Um, you can select body type. You can select height range and you can select specific skills. So for the film that I am currently making, um, they need to be really good swimmer, so I will pick swimming. You can click apply, and then if you scroll down, you will get hundreds of different results of actors or actresses matching specifically the information that you put in. So one thing that I like to do, if I see someone that I think would be a good fit for the role based on just the headshot alone, I would click on their profile, and then you can see a lot more profile pictures down here to get different angles of what they look like on camera. Um, you can see all kind of information over here, all their skills. She can play the accordion. That's, that's great. That's exactly what I need for my film. And then down here, if you scroll long enough, you come to the video section where you might be able to find a reel or uh, just clips from movies they've been in, in the past. So, so you can go through this and then once you find someone that you like, all you have to do is click on their profile, come up here to the tags. Uh, section is what I like to do and you can create different tags depending on the character the role or just anything you want and so for my film the character's name that I'm casting for is Georgia so I will tag her as Georgia and then obviously you just go through there tag all of the ones that you think would be a good fit for, for your role and then you can sort by them in the future so that you don't have to go through this entire search process and scroll through hundreds of pages so you just click on Georgia and you can see the ones that uh, you have tagged Georgia and then what you can do is you can message them or invite them to apply for your position but and, th and that's a fine way of doing it but I have not had very much luck with that in the past because one thing about looking for random people in your area is that they might not even want to be in your film so one way around that is to come up here to the casting dashboard and this is where backstage really begins to shine because what you can do on the casting dashboard is create a new production and that's what I have done twice in the past on here uh, you can see my oldest one no no I have created a production backstage takes all the information you put in that production sends it out to talent and then those talent uh, they they apply for the position and what's great about that is that you know that any auditions you get coming through this method are people who want to be in your film because that, that was the problem with the other method just finding people and sending them messages they might not even respond to you because they don't know who you are and they don't want to be in your film but this way backstage sends all that out to people it does all the work for you and like the people who apply actually have to take the, the the time to apply so you know that they actually have interest in your film and you can see like backstage is really good at what it does for my no no audition it got 388 total auditions sent into me that's a ton of auditions to sort through but i love that i want as many auditions as i can because i want the the best chance that i can possibly have of finding 
the perfect candidate for the role. And so if we click on the most recent production I did, you can see that I have two characters that I'm casting for, Georgia and Kay. And Georgia got 219 total auditions, Kay got 58 because Georgia is the lead. Uh, if we click on Georgia's name herself, we can see that the screen looks just like the fine talent screen. Um, and then if we scroll down, here are all the people who applied for the role of Georgia with my film. And so you just basically do the exact same thing you did with the fine talent pages. If you see someone you like, click on them, you know, go through all their reel and everything, blah, 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 watch as much as you can. And then if you like them, what I like to do is come down here and I click the add to yes button. There's an add to yes button and there's an add to no button. Obviously, if I like them, I will click the add to yes button. And once you go through all of the actors and actresses that applied for your role, click yes. You know, click yes. What you can then do is obviously sort by the ones you have said yes to, so you don't have to scroll through all of the ones you said no to. So if you click yes up here, the next step in the process is to uh, ask them to do an audition for you. And Backstage makes it very easy by this big blue button right here with the camera and the person. So all you have to do is go to each one of these and click request an audition. And what I like to do is request a self tape audition and then you just type the message and just make make sure they know you're not a creepo and then attach the script size that you want them to use while they are auditioning and then you send it. And hopefully these people are on the ball and they get back to you really fast. They record a self tape audition through and then through backstage they will send that video to you. And this is what that looks like if you come to this section of the page you see your submissions 167 and then you see the ones who actually auditioned for you so in this case i have 33 people who actually sent in a self-tape audition for me so if i click on that again you just go through the same process and you want to get pickier and pickier each time that you begin to filter down your roles um, so you will do the same thing usually you can find the uh, video audition once you click their profile picture and then scroll down and usually the video audition will be one under their video section right here. So you watch that, you watch their other videos and you begin really, really just filtering down who you think would be good for the role. And again, you do the same thing. Just click yes on the ones that you like, click no on the ones that you don't. And then you can see all of the ones you said yes to right here. And then, and then at this stage, I think the next step is to click this button, request a callback. And it's basically the same thing as the request a self tape audition button. You can request a self tape callback audition. You can you just do this however you want. You can send them more sides for different scenes in the script, or you can just have a zoom call with them and just talk to them about what they would like to, to happen for this film and like what, who their personality is and if you're going to get along working with them. So, that's great, you can do that. And then obviously you just continue this process until you find the perfect actress or actor and just begin messaging them with this button, send message. And then just figure out their day rates, their availability, all that stuff. And that's pretty much it. I just think this is a fantastic website. Oh, and it's, the, it's only 25 bucks, 25 bucks for a month of this. I think you have to pay monthly, but you can cancel at any time. So just make sure to cancel the months that you aren't actually casting for a production because you'll most likely only need this for one month and then you're done. But 25 bucks is a great price for the amount of auditions you get and like how little work you have to do. This is like the easiest part of the entire filmmaking process for me is, well, not actually choosing someone, but finding the auditions because backstage does it all. and. I, I'm just blown away. You can also find like crew members on this website. I haven't done that before, so I don't know how good that works. You, I, you can do probably do lots of stuff, but I just wanted to show you guys this because you know, if you want to be cool and you want to be a good filmmaker, use this website. If you if you want to be stupid and a bad filmmaker, don't use this website. It's not my problem. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope this helped a little bit. Hope it was informative. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.